As the death toll rises in the Bahamas in the wake of devastating Hurricane Dorian, the family of a Canadian woman confirmed Alicia Sabrina Leoli is among those who died in the disaster. Leoli, from the southwestern Ontario community of La Salle near Windsor, worked at a school for students with special needs in Abaco, a region hard hit when the hurricane swept through as a Category 5 storm. On Facebook, the school posting, Friends, we have gotten word that our dear Alicia Sabrina Leoli was taken by the storm. She was truly a gentle, sweet, compassionate soul who dedicated her life in service of others. She will be greatly missed. Please pray for her family. She's being described by her cousin as a ray of sunshine. And in a video shared by the Bahamas school that she worked for, Leoli spoke of her commitment to her students. We want disability awareness and education. We want people to develop places where learning and acceptance can take place. A GoFundMe page has been set up to raise money to bring Leoli's body back to Canada. Shocking images of widespread damage continue to emerge from the Bahamas. The United Nations says 70,000 people there need immediate humanitarian relief after the most damaging storm ever to hit the region. For survivors, emotions are running high. The Prime Minister for the Bahamas acknowledging it will take time for his country to heal. From a humanitarian perspective, we must consider the psychological impact that we would experience at a later date. Looking to the U.S., Dorian now taking aim at the South Carolina coast. The state preparing for a potentially record storm surge near two meters. Some areas bracing for as much as 300 millimeters of rain. There are reports of tornadoes already widespread damage and evacuation orders are affecting people in Georgia as well as the Carolinas. Hurricane Dorian is ready to unleash its fury on our state. The storm has regained strength, it is serious, and it can be deadly. And as Hurricane Dorian moves northward, Atlantic Canada bracing for impact this weekend. In Nova Scotia, its emergency management office is advising residents there to have enough food and water for 72 hours.